Hey, hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Mucklug Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed yet still humble host, Mucklug. Today we are jumping back into Horizon Forbidden West, a game that I have greatly been enjoying. I think a lot of people sleep on this one. I've actually been surprised by how much I've been I'll enjoying it. I'll go back it. to base. Call me when you want to resume. But it, uh... Wait, hold on a sec. Are we ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay. So, we, uh, last time, uh, I, well, I was trying to save. I accidentally started this mission. This lady needs help taking out a couple of these machines up here. Uh, yeah, I've been talking about this last few days, but for anyone who hasn't been here, this is legitimately one of the best story games. And also, the combat's really good, too. But this, as far as story, this is one of the best stories I have played through in possibly a year. I can't immediately think of something better. It's really good. It's not a perfect game. I don't like how Aloy handles puzzles. Uh, but, yeah. The story is incredible. Do recommend there. it. And if any of you and they're not alone. are we'll interested in playing it, this. definitely play the first game first. Your lead. Oh, no. Is that thing mad at us? Frost would do a lot of damage. Is that thing mad at us? Alright. It's weak to frost. Frozen! We should attack! It's brutal right now. Alright, I knocked its tail off. Oh, nice. She pierced it. Very good. Okay. What is that thing? Weak versus ice also. Okay. Almost frozen. Okay, it's Frost brutal. Alright. Whoa, oh, what is that? Oh my god, I dodged that right in time. Holy, I just happened to look up and saw that there was a bunch of, like, grenades coming down. The Triceratops looking thing. Holy crap, what a start. What a start. Alright, I pierced the tank, which actually set it on fire. It's so low on health. Okay, it's dead. Alright, you. I, I've never fought one of these. New data. Scanning. Weak versus acid. Oh! Okay, what is this guy? Weak versus fire. Alright, fire arrows. It's shooting, what is that, boiling water? Crap. Use a heal berry. Okay, it's on fire. Oh no! Now it's an angry flaming machine. Okay. Use another heal. It's crunching. Okay, looks like the horns of that thing are actually a juicy component, so we want those if we can get them. Okay, we've set that guy on fire again. Oh, we pierced whatever that thing was on its backpack. And we broke that too. Oh! Okay, that one's dead. Okay, you. Acid, huh? Who gave the Triceratops guns? Oh, that's that's not good. Eat a berry. Dude, oh my gosh, take a break from hitting me for a second. Dude, this thing has like lethal attacks at all ranges. Fireballs, flamethrower, discs that shoot shrapnel. Need to 
Okay, well, it's covered in acid. All right, it is covered in acid right now. Ah, uh, hit the faceplate. That's not what I wanted. to the horn. Chew a berry. Something just broke off of it. Alright, it's taking acid damage right now. Using a healing potion. I think I just knocked a weapon off of it, but it's in the water, so I don't think I can take it. Aloy, do you need help? I think he can only fire one shot at a time because I knocked one of his horns off. Back to the cycle. I really thought I dodged that. Are you injured? Aloy, can I help? Okay, its other horn is gone. I had no more heals. I'd used all the berries and potions I had. It was so low. Dang it, what a start to the stream. Holy crap. All right, let's catch up on the freaking chat. You fought one in the cauldron, didn't you, before you rooted a guy? Wasn't it just an apex? I'm not sure. Muck, what's the difference between untamed and soul beast? Which is better for damage uh, dealing in PvE? And are Condi druids any good? Condi druids are fantastic. Um, soul beast merges with their pet, so their pet isn't with them most of the time. Um... The Untamed has their pet alongside them. So if you're the kind of player that doesn't like to deal with the pet, you might go Soul Beast. If you do like having the pet, you might go Untamed for that reason. Uh, soul, uh, untamed also has the option of providing uh, quickness for its group. Uh, whereas the Soul Beast does not provide any juicy buffs for its group. Frost will make it brittle. Let's, Let's rock. rock. I should go. There, the Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your ears. I think this used to be a Tanakh hunting ground. Okay. Maybe we can use them to our advantage. Go, go! Look! It's frozen! I must take you down! <laughs> Oh, his stupid artillery destroyed that trap I put down. Dang it. Uh, okay. Tra huh. She's like, we should use traps. And it's like, no, it's it's not working. Their, their ranged attacks destroy the traps before they get here. Trying to get the gizzard thing. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that one's dead. All right. Thunder Clock. Thank you for the tier one sub, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, he immediately destroyed that trap. That's a waste. All right, hold on. I know he's weak to acid. Is he... Okay, better. I'm literally just trying to scan. Oh God, and we got this thing now. I'm trying to remember what the bird is weak to. It's weak to ice. Absolutely brutal fighting all this at the same time. And the fact that the, uh, she was referring to environmental trap. Yeah, I know she was, but I was just saying it's unfortunate that uh, it wasn't working. Like the, the manual ones. It's been a while since I tried them and I tried it and then it was just like, okay, this is a terrible idea. Ash is eating away at it. Now to follow up. Very. Knocked a horn off, that's one of his weapons. Trying to heal. Got a piece of it. God dang, the dodge does not take you far enough. What the heck? It hit the tree. No. We did not want the tree there. Hello, Jester. Okay, so we knocked the weapon off of that one. Not that I could get to it right now. I'm down. I... Please help. I'm really surprised that connected. You say you were down and you needed help a second ago? How did you get up? <laughs> Pulling more berries from bag. God, Dang it! So Keep me in the fight. Uh, 
Ah, oh, the tree. We gotta back up or I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god, what a fight! Dude, you got the bird, the porcupine thing, two triceratops that both have freaking like entire armories on their back, and uh, I can't really use any ground traps because they just spray and prey the whole area. These are these are fun but brutal. Good lord. She called life alert. There. First try. The yeah, we're ones. about the first try for not sure. Alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. That was a weak spot. Hit them now. What a waste. Um. Here, okay. take this ammunition. Oh, there we go. Some of the logs just fell on it. That did some damage. We can take this one. dead. Alright, this other one we need fire for. This is the one that's got an ice tank on it. Gotcha. Now burn. Alright, it is burning. We are out of machine muscle. More basic arrows. All right, punctured that tank. Going for the gizzard. Got that. And now we can basically hit anything. Flyers here. Trying to hit this thing while it's still brittle. Okay, that's two down. Uh, that's the bird that's weak to ice. Do you need ammunition? Targeting that machine. Targeting that machine. <laughs> Got I wonder if we can back up and reset. Cannot save game. Over here. Yeah, I can't get to you, lady. They're aiming at me now. I don't know what I hit that made her say that, but okay. You've made yourself a target. Wait, what did she just drop down? Acid hunter arrows. Okay. I don't think I have a bow that can use these, but I'll take them. Using a berry. 
guess it's corroding its armor. This is good. We've, we've done a lot of damage to one of them this time. Yeah, I can use it if I run into the lake and pick it up, which I'm not going to do, lady. Killed one. Nice. Okay. Is this Guild Wars 3? <laughs> Yeah, shut up. Ah, oh, dang it, we hit the tree. in a dodge. Berries out of my pack. We fight because we must. I mean, we fight because you called me out here. I, I don't know that we that there's a we must thing. You hit the weak spot. Yes, I'm amazing with my discus. Here, take this ammunition. I just you broke something off spot. of its face. I'll bring that machine down. I think both of its horns are gone, which is going to reduce how many fireballs it's shooting at us. No, it still has a weapon! It's still got one of the rocket canisters on its back. Dude, if that last shot had killed me, I would have been so sour. Oh, man. All right. We've killed both the Triceratops. I do not know what happened to the birds. Salmon. Got some salmon. I'll wait for you here. Oh, give me all that loot. Give me all that loot. Uh, having trouble picking up whatever that is. Oh, that's the big gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's not, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get that while we're in the, in the water. I'll keep a lookout. Remind you that Valor Surges are a thing. Yeah, my current Valor Surge is one that's like a melee one, and I was absolutely not going to run in and get close to those things. That's why you didn't see me use it there. I did consider it. Is it harder to break parts off in this game as compared to Zero Dawn? Um, no, I think it's about the same. It's just that that was just a really tough fight. That's, that fight was like the two Triceratops. And the these two things. There was one week to uh, ice, one week to fire, and two week to acid. But they all had ranged attacks. Uh, there was one environmental thing that you could do that I saw back here, which is dropping logs on them, and we did do that. There might have been others that I didn't see. Traps. 
I think this used to be a Tanakh hunting ground. Okay. Maybe we can use them to our advantage. Yeah, so it looks like there was a drop boulders thing up there, and other drop logs over there. Is that one dead or alive? Looks like it's dead. Where's the thing I'm looking for? Supply cache. Supply cache over there. Fighting numbers is harder than fighting one big machine. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because it's just like the constant barrage of like hellfire that was raining down around me. It was just constantly making me like run for cover. I will say I greatly enjoyed the um, acid discs I was using there. Because as long as you keep catching them... You can use one ammo for every three shots. Because uh, if you catch it three times, the next shot you do with it explodes. So it was uh, a lot of bang for for the materials that we used. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Did I... Kill the machines. Do, did I not already kill the machines? There was the flying one. I don't know what happened to it. Unless there's some in a cave down by the water. I recommend the Healing Valor Surge for fights to lots of stuff. Makes you nearly immortal. Um, I don't know if I picked that one up yet. Hang on. I think it's under Survivor, right? Restore health and gain resistance. Yeah, this one. Mmm. Triple Shredder. Launch three shredders of your currently selected type. Only one shredder can be caught and reused. Drop some of you out of it. No, I don't want that. Carry more medicine berries. Oh, that's awesome. I should have looked at this. I should have looked at this tree more earlier. Let's equip this for now. I'll take that advice. Gain valor when hit by enemies. It's a strategy, mom, I swear. Medicine, medicinal berries heal 50% more. Oh my god, that's huge. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, there we go. You had a, a lot of points like that. Yeah, it happens. Green shine. I'm a little worried that the last dino, which was the uh, bird, like flew off, and I might have trouble completing this now. Hopefully not. Can you respec in this game? If you can, I don't know. I've never tried. You do get an abundance of wrong, points. Aloy? Oh, you're back. Should we carry on with the Grimhorns? We killed Let's get the those control cores. Okay, maybe they're okay. So I was supposed to find control cores from the Grimhorns. We killed the Grimhorns. That was the Triceratops guys. Perhaps the control cores fell in the river. I don't know. Let's go check by the bodies.
pretty sure that's just there, a big gun. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I hope that, uh, our quest NPC doesn't have to, like, interact with the bodies or something. Yeah, that's just a gun. I'll wait for you here. Oh, there's an old uh, cell phone tower here. This image is of the old world. Looks like a plane and some kind of metal structure. Is it that mountain there? Metal structure. So, oh wait, there's a metal thing there. What is that? No, that's certainly not it. This actually looks like the tail to like an aircraft. I need you with me, Aloy. Yeah, I need you to do the quest. I killed the Grimhorns. What do you want? Oh, you're back. Should we carry on with the Grimhorns? Girl. Let's get those control cores. Is it that thing up there? Also, what is that making that green light? Where are you going? Mike, I'm not sure if you saw during the fight, but Aloy's dodge is much shorter than in uh, Forgotten West than Zero Dawn. The trick tech is to sprint into a crouch slide, which covers a lot of ground and a lot of iframes. You could dodge roll out of the slide. Ah, uh, oof, that's kind of weird on the hands. That's shift to sprint and then C to uh, crouch for me. That metal structure looks like the one in the image. I think I might be close to where it was taken. There it is. Oh, this is like an aircraft base. Look at that. You can make it easier by enabling auto sprint in the menu. Um, let me see. Let's see, settings. Auto shield wing. Actually, I would like that on. That's the glider. Um, auto sprint? Check under accessibility. Yeah, because right now sprint is basically me just holding down the shift key all the time. Auto sprint on foot. On. And on. Let's try that. Why can't I scan that thing? This will be over quick with frost ammo. We did it. That was the last okay? thing. That bird was the bird that got away earlier, and that was the reason that it wasn't saying I killed the Grimhorns. So now I gotta go find what's her butt and tell her that it's done. Hey. Hey.
Oh, you're back. It's Should not auto sprinting either. Ones. Let's get those control cores. Hey. What? Did... What? Do, what do you want? Oh my God! What do you want? Take them from my hands. Try to loot them again. That a diner would be interested in this. <laughs> Think you have to bring her. I. Just I'll keep trying. a lookout. Uh... Save game. All right, let's try... What if I just fast travel to where I'm already standing? You're too close to that. Okay, let me fast travel to another spot and fast travel back and see if we can reboot this lady. Uh, if not that, then we kill her and resuscitate her. We try to turn her off and on again. <sighs> All right. Did you change something about your stream bitrate? Uh, no, John Smith, I did not. Does it seem better or worse in some way? Oh, you're back. Should we carry on with the Grimhorns? Let's get those control cores. Maybe I just take her back to the area where we found them? doesn't work. I don't know what to do. As she said, take the control cores. I have already looted the machines, and I cannot talk to her about it. Um... Did you loot the bird? The bird? Yeah, one, yes I did. Two, I don't think it had a control core. Take her to the killed bird. The whole point of this was to get to the Grimhorns. I, I, I'll i do it. I'll do it. I don't think that's going to be it, though. Something wrong, Aloy? So going toward the bird actually leaves the radius of the quest. So she stops. Because we, we leave the quest area. Oh, you're back. Should we carry on with the Grimhorns? Let's All get right. those control cores. I wonder if I can return them the cores to her at home base. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna say that one's glitched. I don't know what's going on there. Maw the arena. Let's see. Unknown campfire. Let's go there. I hope you're not planning on leaving me behind. I I mean you won't take the quest item. I absolutely am. Aloy, I can't run that fast. Oh, well, I can't give you cores any harder. Where also, the auto run isn't working. I'm having to hold down the run button still. What is that big boy up there? All right, there's a couple of the hippo dudes. Yes, it's no good. Weak to what is that? Purge water? Wait, what? He just like ejected something, and then he vacuumed it back up. I don't know what he's doing. What is that? A roller back. 
Weak versus Aloy, acid. It seemed like you grabbed what we needed before heading out. Come see me back at base, and I'll take those control cores off your hands. Good, because you wouldn't take it out here. Stupid. All right. Is there any juicy parts off this thing? Yes. There. Hammer tail. It's on to me. That one did a lot of damage. Made that count. Woo! I don't know what that was, but he just took a lot of damage. I'm trying to get the tail, but if I can't reach it, that's fine. We're still chipping this thing down. That one whiffed. <laughs> oh, he dodged that one. We used only, in the end, we only used a couple of these things to kill that guy. Again, a really good usage of uh, damage for ammo spent. Dang it. Ha! Machine's drenched. We popped whatever he was gathering in his mouth to shoot at me. the catch. Got it, though.
Huh? Let's make more of this. What is that? Resource container. Oh, I think it came off of the, uh, the white, was it the wide maw? I think is the name of the, uh, hippo. I think it came off the hippo. Sonic the Hedgehog out of nowhere. tried to dive out of the way. Dang it, I didn't even see that projectile. going on. I thought there were burrowers nearby because the earth started shaking. Okay. Picking up the parts we knocked off of it. Oh, that's not a part. That's a. <laughs> these are dead prairie dogs. They must have been caught up when he was like spitting all over the place. He just ran over some uh, some rodents. And I'm like, oh wow, more spare parts. Is that a thunder jaw? It's weak to acid. Oh my god, it's a thunder jaw. I don't think I've killed a thunder jaw in this game yet. Uh, I would like to save first. I would very much like to save the game first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go pick a fight, Jet. <laughs> Are those enemies or allies? Okay, I guess they're they're fine. Oh yeah, they're about to get in the fight. 
Okay, it's tail is a valuable part, apparently. You stock up on berries? Ah, uh, my inventory's full. Check if they're okay! <laughs> Turn this around. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what those do. Jeez. Stop. 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 Oh my god. Oh no, I'm in the swim animation. I don't want to be in the swim animation. Okay, whatever he was shooting hit that tree. No, the acid's wearing off. No. Is this something I killed or it killed? He destroyed the trap I had laid out in case he got closer. Oh, that did some damage. We destroyed something he didn't want destroyed. shooting at. He's mad at someone way over there. Dude, the range of these things is great. I might have a new favorite weapon, chat. As long as it's not a close quarters fight. Got it. Acid's all over it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Just in case. Damage mitigation. Ah, oh, missed. Something just broke off of it. Pretty good terrain for me with these little hills. He's firing discs again. Got him! Oh my god, my first Thunderjaw kill! 
I don't think I got any bonus components at all, but we used very little resources on this fight. We used uh, a handful of those acid discs, and then we uh, we used an acid trap that got destroyed, so we lost that trap. That was great. I get this a disc thing doesn't feel good for taking out specific parts, but it feels really good for um, like just aim at center of mass, and it'll just do a lot of damage all over the place. Feels really good for that. I like the electric disc, easy knockdowns. Sounds nice. I haven't found one of those yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Unknown shelter. Uh, hold on, where's the flag? There's the flag. The, so I'm looking at the compass at the top of the screen and apparently the flag uh, doesn't show up there. That's why I was confused and spinning around. What's up, folks? What's up, island guy? You there. I'm gonna leave you here. Over here. Uh, yeah, apparently don't dismount while running full speed, chat. I know you, champion. Please, speak with me. Hmm, shell snapper and snap maw nerves to upgrade that again. Pouch upgrade. Food pouch. Listen to rumor. You're the champion come from out east. I've heard of your deeds in battle. My people owe you a debt. And so I'll share what I know of this land with you. There's much I see in here that might help you in your travels. Get to the point. For example, we spotted Asaram salvagers hunting machines Suddenly east a totally different near the village of Bleeding Mark. Hunting so close to desert clan territory, now that takes some stones. They'll be lucky to get out of there alive. That doesn't sound good. Maybe I should check on those Asaram, figure out what they're doing there. All right, so... Let's go to base and tell the you know, get try to turn in those cores to the lady from the uh, the triceratop things we killed, and uh, see if she'll take them now. It's odd that there's not a fast travel point, like, in your main base. They're all, like, a little bit away. The old ones created so many wonderful inventions to help others. To help the planet. Technology really can be an amazing thing. Yeah, until it gets a mind of its own and uh, decides to kill everyone. You're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? <laughs> Only for you. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. Two control cores, as requested. Yay, it worked. <sighs> Good. Now that you have them, are you ready to reboot the land gods in Plainsong? Not yet. 
Gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores. She updated my focus with software to accomplish this task, but apparently it's very complicated. It'll take time. Well, let me know if you need any help. I will. I should get going. Good luck on your search. There's a fire on the east exit I found to be much faster. Aloy. Noted. There are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Where was the room to make the over? Uh, what? Huh. Nothing. That door is unlocked now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia? What was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. Ethan Reed, I've been tackling the design of the AG lab. Place is going to have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite is sample 626, Calotropsis gigantea, the crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard, butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check on the leaves, see if any caterpillars had turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. According to this console... There are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Where? One of these side rooms allowed ah. you to upgrade the spear to be able to... Ah, this is it. This is what I'm looking for. I don't have the mats for any of these. Okay. All right. Let's head back outside and find another objective to lock onto. That was a test. I wanted to see if she was going to get the glider out because I turned on auto glide and I don't feel like it did that. Yeah, it's set to on. It definitely just watched me fall. Maybe it only kicks in if I was going to take fall damage because I wasn't there. Let's see. Explore the dry ruins. Uh, should I do that next? That could be fun. I the ruins. Ah, sit. God. Please. No, I don't want to sit. You're you're you spooking me. What is that? Ooh. Are those hippos? Fire bristleback. Okay. In that case, that should do a chain reaction. Ha! Oh, I did not mean to fall. In a good spot right now. Oh, tried to grab the disc, missed it on the return. Oh, there's green shine over here. Okay, cool. 
Hey, Mug, sorry to interrupt, but I just got out infinitum. Thank you for your lovely guides. Uh, my third Ludgy I've been able to achieve because of you. You're very welcome. Glad that they're still helping, folks. Congratulations. of this. What was that? That's a Ravager. Nothing really crazy. Made a new friend. All right, one down. Ah, the tree. Who put that tree there? It jumped out in front of me. He's like, you know what? Screw this. I'm out. <laughs> Oh, there's some cannons here on the ground. It's fallen. I going before I was so rudely interrupted by these things that needed to die. Billboard, old truck. Quick save. What was that noise? I heard that something spooky. Ruin built into the cliff. I think that's the one that Tanakh told me about. Might be worth poking around inside. There's some kind of tunnel. I should take a look around. Really? You can't grab the edge of that?
Still don't have whatever the answer is to the metal flowers. Oh, there's an ornament there. Hmm. I wonder if the metal flower thing is required to that deal with this. It's a huge wall of metal. Or is it some kind of door? I can do about those vines for now. Another ornament. Gotta find a way to get to it. Green shine fragments. Hmm. What? This is a later in the game puzzle. That's what I was wondering. All right, bummer. All right, we've been side questing for about an hour and a half now. Where's the next main quest? Uh, Demeter. Let's go to the campfire and get as close as we can to that. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the ornament thing. Port there, and that'll cover a good chunk of the distance. Okay, so at this point, let's summon our mighty steed. Which you did me off earlier. Head in that direction. Ravager on the wall. Bound for a fight. Bye. It's fine. I'm fine. Those are the Sonic the Hedgehog boys. Oh, rollerbacks. They're called rollerbacks. Hello, hello! Mounts cannot enter this location. Is this a town? Sky Century. There's the Nora yep, warrior right. everyone's I'm talking sorry. about. Champion from oh. What do y'all have for sale? Uh, weaves. Nothing I really need. My stock will be here next time. <laughs> okay. I think that's the first time I've ever used the restock button in the chest. I always thought it was automatic. I guess it hasn't been. Whoops. Is that a Ravager? Scorcher. Weak versus ice and electric. Its ears are valuable? All right, well, let's do... Let's start with this. What are you doing? 
Whoa, bouncing ready, bam down. Okay. It does that, apparently. Keep the group alive. I'll be right back. I want to stand in the fire to see you don't get bored. Yeah, you have. Killed it, but it missed. Okay, yo, that was uh, that's a spicy boy. It's got like an explosive leap forward. Shoots uh, discs that all explode like bouncing betties. The yo-yo scoop looks fun. It's pretty great. It's kind of become my go-to weapon on fights that are medium distance or longer. It's like, it seems to be the most damage for the least amount. Because, like, everything you fire requires components to rebuild, right? Even an arrow. Although, you know, finding sticks is very, very easy. Uh, but most of the other ammo, you know, requires different stuff to be able to make it. And the yo-yo things, since they come back to you if you catch them, you uh, you get a lot of damage for each component that you build. Sublime! Hey, Vandal, what up? Are you evil? No, they're not attacking me. Could use frost ammo against it. Waiting for it to raise its antlers up in the air. It's chainsaw antlers. The override for Fanghorns should work now. <laughs> well, it's running, but I got its horns.
Got your attention now. It's quite the narrow path. Not a lot of places to go if I get jumped. Seems we're still on the right course for Demeter. Oh, music just shifted. If we want to reclaim our honor, then we must do so in battle with <laughs> You got any good weapons? Sharp shot bow. Um, what is that? A bow is lethal as the Tanakh soldiers who use it. Perfect for landing precise long-range hits that deal extra damage using concentration. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's got little stars, which makes me think of, like, stuns or something. Canister rope caster. Uh, used by Utaru warriors to attach canisters to enemies. Canisters can be detonated with an arrow of the same element. Oh, okay, so you'd like put a harpoon on him and attach a bomb to it and then shoot the bomb. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Interesting, though. Did not know that was a weapon type in the game. Return again. Are you an ally just for today? Combo attacks, yeah. I don't really know what overdraw damage is, unless that's just when you draw it back all the way. If it's something besides that, I don't know. Mm, Alright, we should have a coil for this. Crit chance. Stealth damage. Do component tear. That's the whole purpose of this weapon. Overdraw is just when you completely draw. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Thank you. Uh, looks like there's a guy here I need to talk to. Don't know if it's related to Demeter or just something entirely different. Stand strong. Could I have a moment of your time? I'm Ikuta. You're Aloy, right? I heard how you drove Regala from the cool route. I thought maybe you could help me, and the village. And the forest to the west, our people have always found good salvage from shell walkers and clamber job piles, but now killer machines stalk the area. Finally Cross found the subs button with Prime again. And the I've experience without subs was traumatizing. <laughs> Mutluck cry. Thank you, Canuck. Appreciate that support. Welcome back. And worse. And you're get yourself a blanket and a cup of hot cocoa to uh, until your nerves calm down. In the past, I would have asked Marshal Chikata to to help me clear out the threat, but he was killed at Baron Light. Now I'm alone, and there aren't enough seasoned soldiers here to help. What do you say? You up for a hunt? I just might be. Strange. Chikata used to use those same words in the same way. The good omen, I suppose. All right, meet me at the edge of the forest west of here. We'll hunt together. I'll be glad for the company. A hunt to remember. May the day bring you victory. <laughs> Can you fell Regala as easily as the bulwark, Outlander? It's an honor. You're brave to show your face. The Outlander has shown us. The Chief's champion. You must join the cool. Uh, looks like my... This guy's little mini quest is kind of on the way toward the one I actually want to do. Of air. 
Something nearby is sending that signal. Unknown Tallneck. That sounds like a Tallneck. Over there. There's also what appears to be a big treehouse. Settlement. Looks abandoned. But high enough to get me on that tall neck. If I can find a way to the top. The stand of the sentinels. Careful now. Hmm. So we got a jumping puzzle here, chat. And like any jumping puzzle, the hard part is finding where it starts. Is what? They come in invisible flavors now? 69 months, yo. Oh god, PTSD's flaring up. I remember these actually. Gotta follow up all that acid's working. That's right, they got their cloak and sniper rifles. Honestly, those are pretty fragile in terms of HP, but tough to catch. Stream quality cap to 720, is that normal? No, and you're the second person to say that tonight. Um, question for people in chat, on both Twitch and YouTube. Are you able to see the stream at normal 1080p? No, 1440. Yes. Okay. Couple of yeses on YouTube, 1080. Twitch, it's almost 50-50. Like, some people saying 1080, some saying 720. Okay. Odd. I don't know why it's doing that, but uh, if anyone is seeing it at 1080, I am broadcasting at 1080. I don't know why everyone's not seeing it at that, though. 
Um, data corrupted. I could have gone anywhere with air conditioning, but no. Apparently fresh air and tall A trees are the cure to all our problems. No focus, no hollows, just a father and daughter alone with nature. More like father alone with nature and a daughter alone in her tent. The thing is, I know he doesn't want to be here either. He doesn't want to keep forcing that smile or begging me to go on hike after hike. He's just trying to hold what's left of the family together after the love of his life died of cancer. Ugh, great. Now I feel like a terrible person. Wish you were still here, Mom. Oh my god. Just go hiking with your dad, jeez. I found a gun. Oh, it's the sniper gun that the, the invisible dudes had. Mazdan. Hey, Finn! I'll stash this away for later. What? I just set off like a flare or something. Uh, I could maybe climb up the mountain and glide onto one of those platforms? Maybe? I don't think I'd make it from here. I wonder if I could jump onto the tall neck from here, though. Asmongold's taking all the bandwidth with no monetization. Oh, the <laughs> Look for the campfire there. Uh... Oh, it says I'm like right by a campfire. Oh, it's like right below me. Yeah. shot at this. Good wings holding up. Ah, yes. Go. <laughs> the big Jump puzzle All skipped. Right. Almost done. The trees as tall as good. Got the data. I don't know what the jump puzzle was there, and now I'll never find out. Oh, look at all that data. Mm. Oh, 
There's Ikota. Ready to hunt some machines. Glad you made it. The place where my people seek salvage is close, as are the hostile machines. Follow if you will. Lead the way. I've hunted this forest since I was a boy. And when the clans were at war, Chikata and I helped hold it from the Lowlanders. It was one of the few battles Hikaru ever lost. Didn't you say Chikata was a marshal? Yes. Later, he came to respect Hikaru's dream for a united tribe, and volunteered for the very first cool route. I was melancholy when he left the clan to serve the chief. But he came back often, and I was always glad when he did. There, the machines. I've heard of your skill, so I'll follow your lead. But be careful, there may be more about it. I'm on it. Fire won't do much. Shell walkers. That's a piece of scrap. Knock the loot off of his back. To the hunt. Oh. Ow. Here, ammo. Ooh. 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 Oh, ammo, yeah. <laughs> Looks like he the hunt's not over yet. Excited. I'm like, I beach. Push through. Oh my god. Keep fighting. I was looking over at Twitch chat and I got blasted by it. The hunter's still on, Aloy. Next shot's gonna explode. Ah! Put that thing to Hard work. to see my acid disc to catch when that thing was also firing acid at me. More ammo for you. My aim is true. Oh. You okay there, Aloy? Fine. I need a medic. Look out! The scorcher. Guess those rumors were true. Wasn't enough. Need to make more ammo. Why are you not fighting, my guy? You even said look out a scorcher and then you're just like chilling. Ah! Ah! Yeah. 
Take the ammo. Unless you're throwing me yo yo's, oh, I don't need, need it. Good timing, thanks. He wasn't helping chat, so we rebooted him. We turned him off and on again. Done for. You're welcome. Oh, that was the that was the gun from one of this those things. Is coming with me. Is that your favorite weapon? It is becoming my favorite weapon. Yeah. Very long range, good at medium range also, really stretches out ammo because of the, uh, if you keep catching it, you get to fire the same disc like three or four times. And my current one does acid build up too. I'm with you! Oh, look at that damage! And look, right. I caught it, so I used no What's bullets on that. I used no ammo for that guy. Come here for a moment. What? Oh, what? You're not there. You fought well. Better than any marshal. Better than Shikata, even. You too. You were more than friends. Yes. Whenever he left on a mission, he was a poor I felt boy an from a poor family. ache in my chest. And now he's gone forever. He meant a lot to you. I'm so sorry, Ikota. Don't be. You did a good thing for the village and gave a lonely old soldier some solace. Here, take this. You deserve it. You're young and strong with many victories ahead. But perhaps someday you could come back if you're up for another hunt. I just might be. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, they were roommates, love. <laughs> I don't know if it's still... You just reminded me of something. So, a lot of the Sesame Street characters have, like, their own Twitter accounts. And the, um... The account for Ernie, at one point, said best friend of Bert, and it was a link to Bert's Twitter. And Bert's... Profile said Ernie's roommate. <laughs> so Ernie said Bert's best friend, and Bert said Ernie's roommate. And when you were like, oh my god, they were roommates, I thought of that. Are you gonna try throwing in Liberty Muck? Maybe. Haven't decided yet. You know, what I did do is today, um, what was it, Banana sent me a link to the trailer for, like, the new Star Wars RPG. It looks alright. It looks okay. Like, it looks like something I'm willing to try. That's, coordinates that Gaia gave that's me kind of it. Someone managed to take out an entire. Oh, oh, cutscene. It's an ambush! Oh, damn. Oh. Hold your fire! I'm not here to fight! The barbarian's pinned down. Move in! Okay, whoever these people are, it looks like we're not gonna be friends. 
I need to get past these hostels and into the ruins. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, that's my mount. Hi. Stop killing my horse cow thing. I think I just hit my mount. Get to Demeter fast in case there's more of them. According to Gaia, it should be somewhere in these ruins. I wonder if I have to tame a new mount now, because it looked like they might have killed my old one. Did you just pull off a Popeye spinach move? <laughs> you know, I was thinking that. Uh, LJ11C, thank you for the prime, dude. Appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my god, it's a school bus. I think it's so cool when you actually, like, find stuff that you can recognize in this game. Like when we were in Vegas earlier. Wait, 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 what is that? Ancient valuables. Fa fast biotech, it's that on the like sign? some sort of old office complex. Entering the greenhouse. My thoughts on Darkest Dungeon 2 stuff. Looks cool. Um. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed Darkest Dungeon 2 uh, when I was streaming it. It's funny, we, last time we played it on stream, I was trying to do the, uh, what was it, that special run where you beat the whole game without losing anybody, and I had a major setback, and it reset me, and I stopped, and then I kept dabbling with it off stream, and I actually almost completed it, and, like, I didn't fail, I just, like, moved on. So I've actually got recorded footage of me killing all the bosses in the game except the final boss with the same team. So if I went back and managed to do it now, I would just suddenly have a beard for the last boss fight. <laughs> Automated solutions, industry leading biotech research facility. Agritech, environmental remediation. Uh, Amok, did you see that some streamers and YouTubers were invited to test PoE2 recently? No, I did not. That's pretty cool, though. A metal flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. Oh, are we Those finally gonna figure out away. how to deal with metal flowers? Unless I can cut through them, I'm gonna need to find another way in. Uh, aberrant code recovered from greenhouse FAS facility. I had a dream that was not all a dream. The bright sun was extinguished and the stars. Did wander darkling in the eternal space, rayless, pathless, and the icy earth. Swung blind and blackening in the moonless air, morn came and went and came and brought no day. 
Men forgot their passions in the dread of this, their desolation, and all hearts. Were chilled into a selfish prayer for light, and they did live by watchfires and the thrones. The palace of crowned kings, the huts, the habitations of all things which dwell, were burnt for beacons, cities were consumed, and men were gathered round their blazing homes. To look once more into each other's face, happy were those who dwelt within the eye of the volcanoes and their mountain torch. A fearful hope was all that world contained function true. I remember nothing of what I just read, Chad. I am sorry. no way out if that was poetry duh right. meter was wrong wow at least there's a console i expect that from banana but not from you thistle activate hollow projector a log just got off the line with u.s robot command time's running out i didn't have the heart to tell harris that our cure might be worse than the disease Even if adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine wreath. Adamantine wreath. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. How do I get out of here? There we go. Great. These guys again. Whoever they are, the they want me dead. I better be careful. Uh, data corruption minimal from Tala Aquino, the greenhouse. Science is a process of discerning patterns, finding a sense of order amongst the chaos. Never has that been more pertinent than today. Here at the greenhouse, between the construction bots, the strewn wreckage from last night's storm, the howls of protesters who don't even know the nature of our work, amongst all this, we must find method. All week, the verts have been delivering sets of bewildered faces, and I've promised my paymasters that those looks of stunned incredulity hide some of the world's top minds. From which ideas will sprout that can feed a starving world if we work fast enough? If we knew what it was we were doing, it would not be called research, would it? Albert Einstein. So we strike out from the shores of the known and swim into the deep oceans of the possible, knowing that we must find something before the world drowns. But does the man who is guiding us understand the work we must do? There's no doubt that Ted Farrow is a business savant when it comes to robotic assistance, but does he grasp the science as well as the marketing? He and his board can grasp what the world wants to uh, wants from a fashion app, but the choices they make now will determine whether a million people starve or a country falls into the void there. Farrow has grasped the fact that action is necessary, but can he really be a force to save the world? Wasn't Farrow the one that deleted the Apollo thing and we hate him? Uh Hey fat guy 925 Not sure if you saw the uh the video that went up today that had me and Fairlight in it. I linked it to him. I hope he sees it. Am I supposed to just jump out the window? Mm. I 
guess so. Okay. I could take those soldiers out quietly. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. The legacy this diplomacy is off the table. Kill the strangers. I will give for some pastries from the Great Delta. I think I see something. Hey, did Are you, you hear? I can't see. I can't see. Camera. Get looking. I've not found anyone. Stop. Revenge! Protect the site! Kill her! Is that all of them? Berserk Hunter Arrows, now available for one of your Hunter Bows. Fire these arrows at human or machine enemies to build up Berserk State. Once in the state, they'll attack the nearest target, regardless of friend or foe. Uh, that sounds awesome. <clears throat> Targeting Hunter Arrows, now available for one of your Hunter Bows. one berserker hunter bow how about uh Okay, we'll equip that. First upgrade. And we cannot do the second upgrade. It does have an empty coil slot though. So we can go to it and go here and add something else. Let's do concentration damage. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait, what was targeting arrow? This bow has three arrows. Normal arrows, berserk arrows, and targeting hunter arrows. Crap, what was targeting hunter arrows? Crap. I didn't see... Anyone in chat happen to know what a targeting arrow is? Targeting makes your friendly robots attack it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, not something I'm going to be using much. That sounded juicy. I really wish these people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. 
Oh, now I need to find a way out of this courtyard. You skipped the instructions. I didn't mean to. If you want to be a pet class, you have focused fire now. Hey, Dragon's Dogma 2 doesn't have that. That door looks promising. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone I can atone our trespass. Look, I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I'm of the chosen people. The Quen. The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone, the eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. It is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. You know, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alva. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? Those soldiers, they opened fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant. But back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. <laughs> I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so, too. Uh, targeting arrows can read the special arrows designated target for overridden machines to attack for a limited time. Right, so I have to have an overridden machine first for them to do anything, which is good to know. So you call data from the ancient past the legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading and that which is permitted. Okay, I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back, or even cross the ocean. Technology. That is what I seek here. Technology that can help my people back home. So you said your ancestors left your tribe that focus? Yes. Thirteen diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there did. We each have a role to play. No, it is the Diviner's purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe, so that no one but the Diviners know how to use a focus. Not even the Imperial family, and certainly not soldiers. So how many Diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the Overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. I wonder if it would blow her mind if we told her that we've been training everyone we met back at our base to use a focus. I've never heard of the Quen. Our lands lie across the, the Great Kuhn. Ocean. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing. The people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. So, your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No. Uh, Landfall is where we arrived. To the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the Broken Bridge. 
You mean San Francisco? Yes. You're well versed in the legacy. San Fran. It was a place of great importance to our ancestors. The broken bridge of San Fran. We hope to learn the secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? <gasps> you can see what is lost. And forbidden. Not Heresy. lost. Not forbidden, just a newer format. There. That's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? I, I'm not like seeing the map. Does here. my focus need no. an update? I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus. I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison. I feel like there was a glitch there, and it was sure. supposed to show the map. Like, look, I see more of the map now that the cutscene's over. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with... Uh, data corrupted. We already have moderate but promising results from the Insect Protein Initiative. Oh, chat, you ready to eat some bugs? Ted Farrow. It's a dead end. There are 12 competitors ahead of us on farmed protein. Tala Aquina. Our team is pushing to improve the yield, and once they've... No. Kill the program today. The plant gene sequencing stuff is where we've got an edge, but I want every program to link up to the harvester our robotic team is developing. You're talking about flushing six months of research. Our AI tells us the plants you're creating aren't robust enough for auto-harvesting. You're wanting me to feed starving people, Ted. That research will help. Ted, we will feed them from a pharaoh harvester. This is too sudden. We can't reconfigure everything that quickly. You have to think bigger, Tala. What was it you wrote to the team this morning? One of those quotes you're always throwing around? If I had seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Well, Newton didn't have the resources we've got, Tala. He couldn't dream of the horizons we can already see. We're the giants now. You? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? This place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. Lead the way. Chain link fences. I can't believe you actually got us in. I was dreading having to stay here any longer with those soldiers. Don't worry, we already killed all your people. Way they slaughtered the barbarians that approached the site. Oh, it was like they enjoyed it. Most of my people aren't oh, like that, I promise. Better stand back. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was loud.
Uh, another poem. There has to be a way out of here. Found our way out. What's that thing in the wall? Through here. Uh, this is a dead end. A dead end. Maybe we should try another path. I guess so. We haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. According to the map, the exit should be this way. Alvoy, Alva is doing the hint solution thing. A little bit, yeah. Hmm. Oh, must have taken a wrong turn. Shut up, I was getting the loot. Oh, I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. What'd you guys think about her friend giving us a uh, justification for murdering her uh, tribe so that we... Uh... She's like, oh, you know what? They were actually kind of mean to barbarians. It's like, oh, cool. We can feel, feel okay about that now. Thunder? No, that's not a Thunderbird. What is that? That can't be good. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? She's like, haha, I got you there, stupid. <laughs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Uh, oh wait, what is this? She sabotaged the project? You know how many lives could have been lost over an affair? We're working to see what data can be recovered. In the meantime, in the meantime, we spent weeks chasing results that have gone nowhere. Kachansky's project could have been the answer. Can we remember that Dr. Kachansky's libido played a big part in this? Not that big a part. Not helpful, Akrafi. Can we please concentrate on the plant propagation, not the human reproduction? Precisely. It is our job, our responsibility, to deliver these crops, which is why I'm reassigning Dr. Samuelson to another team. She sabotaged a project, and she's staying. And we will all have to make up the time we lost. How? We're already working nights and weekends. Which has cut down on the levels of infidelity. Not helpful, Akrafi. Charles Darwin, a man who dares to waste one hour of time, has not discovered the value of life, and we hold so much life in our hands. So we'll do whatever we have to to finish the work. Albert Einstein, two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. Dr. Samuelson has proved that. Surely we can agree she has to go? She's staying. That's coming all the way from the top. Pharaoh, of course. Not the kind of fellow to put ethics ahead of results. Enough, all of you. Your objections are noted. Please do not persist unless you want me to take the messaging system offline. Well, someone was getting around. How far through the game are you? Any idea? No clue. You, uh, I mean, I'm coming up on Demeter. Um, can fight them. You can Google it if you want, past. but don't tell me the answer. Your call. Setting it on fire won't help. Hi, Star! Uh, 
Happy birthday. Thank you. Blades around its eye. Good for digging tunnels. Try the berserk arrows. It's ready to lash out at any There we go. Let's see if they hit each other now. Kind of. It throws a disc and it, it hits them like a buzzsaw and then it comes back and if I catch it I can fire it again without using up ammo. But after three times firing it, the next time you shoot it, it just explodes and does a ton of damage and it doesn't come back. Kind of? That acid ought to hurt it. Make another pack of these. All right, chat. The boy is here to tell me goodnight. I will be right back. All right. Okay, got that one. All right, that one's berserk. Let's see if it'll hit the other guy. Night. Why is he chasing me? Oh my gosh. No, I'm trying to hit it while it's stunned. Oh, it died. painful. Not sure if I feel the Berserk arrow was helping a whole lot there. That was my first time trying it out. They take crystal braiding. I don't 
know where to get that, but I'm apparently about out of it. I've never seen anyone fight machines like you do. Meanwhile, Aloy is on fire and in an unbearable pain. <laughs> she didn't say it was good. She just said she hadn't seen that before. we can carry infinite sub uh limited supplies Got with it. infinite rocks i'm right behind you well, rocks don't weigh anything you ever picked up a rock that's like nothing i mean you time this nothing by like 150 that's still that's still like none weight simple quick math maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground it looks like the one we used at the first station what? Maybe you should shut up. There's consoles up here too. But no way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Gonna need a data key for this lock. I think I can move these things. Shut up! These are the parts of the game where she makes me so mad. This one won't budge. Maybe one of the others. Can't move that one. Can't move that one. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. Aha. Uh -huh. This should help. Supplies. Use key that I found on the ground. There we go. It looks like some sort of conveyor rig. You think you can move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. It's it's there. Get on. Hold it there. Let me just I jumped on top. Okay. Um. Hold on. I think you're going the wrong way. I think you just shut up. Wait, there's data here. A, a lot, but it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Oh my god. How about I'll, you keep I'll working? help if I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it.
locked. Storage unit has to be here somewhere. What did, did she unlock? Was it that door? Shortcut. Let's get rid of this. Now we can get that energy cell in here. Um, Aloy, would would you mind warning me next time you decide to um uh, uh, blow up a wall? I'll uh try. All right, so we need a battery for that. Can I move this thing? No. Okay, so at least I can eliminate that. That's not part of the puzzle. said anything. Yeah, no, this is fine. I like figuring these out. We're working on that right now. She said that she opened up some sort of supply room and that there was a power cell inside. We found where the power cell goes. He's walked past it twice now. Oh, uh, don't you worry. I'll walk past it a third time. Probably needs the battery. jump on top of this thing? Doesn't seem like it. <sighs> when she said she opened up a storage room from the console, I heard, like, machinery noises in, like, that direction. But she is right there, so I don't know if that was just her pressing buttons up there. Lock the blind? Yeah, clearly. Oh, is that it? Gosh, okay. I thought I was looking for like a room or like a chamber. All right, well, we already know where this goes. Okay, that brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. First try.
Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario, 12C15. Okay, that's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you do, I no, lord? No, no, no. How do I shut this thing off? Failsafe exceeded. Test cannot be aborted. Oh great, she's really something that's what killing all life. That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine reef structural integrity. Uncompromised. What did we just see? Alva. Let's meet below. Nano machine son. I'm share a phone <laughs> with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second. Oh, who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need Pick to find choose. something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva, I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't? I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. 
She's like, I don't get it. Let's go. <laughs> we need to keep moving. Test station Ivy can't be far off. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. And then we drop right into a gelatinous cube and uh, another maze. But the road to truth is never a straight line. So the metal flowers, what the data referred to as adamantine wreaths. They were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the time of ashes? Looks like it. I guess something went wrong. I'm trying the age-old maze so strategy of I hug the left asked. wall. Uh, are you from around here? No, I'm not. I um, spent most of my life in a place far to the east. Well, we've both traveled a long way then. Cold and damp down here. This is it. Okay. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. A lot of goodies in that box. Another poem. I don't like swimming in this game. It makes me feel very vulnerable. That complex should be Test Station Ivy. Oh, well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. It's so still. Yeah. Whoa! Into battle. It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna it's have to take wing. it out to get into the test station. You with me? Wait to fire. Yes. Oh man, the game's getting a bit laggy right now. It's on fire. I broke something on it. against it. Oh my god, my spleen! Get the vodka! Wait, did she drink it? It didn't do the animation. I do not know if she drank it. My health's not going up. I don't think she drank it. Whatever you try to give me, no. Bad time. I'm having a bad time. Ah! 
Got it. That was amazing. Uh, terrifying, but amazing. Thank you. Please give me a five-star Yelp review well, on Monster helped. Hunter. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. Looted a metal flower from this thing. Muck, you actually turn on the potato or something? I don't know. It's like when I was fighting it, whenever I would use concentration mode, which slows down time for a second, it would get really choppy. I'm not sure why. We shouldn't linger here. Just on that one foe. There might be more machines. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh. Uh, from Tawa Aquino, personal log. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. But you're supposed to understand the trick once it's done. When the cir curtain pulls up back to reveal the mirrors, yet I still have no idea how we achieve this act of scientific conjuring. It's not just the speed with which the projects have come together or the stability of the results despite the complexity of the bioengineering. It isn't even the huge variety of crops that can now be made more heat, drought, and disease resistant. It's the simple fact that all of these results are tangible. No announcements in scientific journals, no celebrating predictions born from simulations. Our research has become manifest in physical artifacts. Where a dream took root in an abandoned industrial site four years ago, now there stands row upon row of automated FAS farming units, each of which can conduct gene manipulation in the field. The actual field. These robots analyze soil composition, light intensity, temperature, wind speed, and a hundred other factors, then utilizing gene sequences we created, they can select or construct a plant to produce the best yields for that location. Of course, all the crops these units create are best harvested by other FAS machines. But when a population is starving, what government is going to quibble about being forced to use our robots to speed things up? Should I be uncomfortable? Watching Ted Farrow's coffers swell with money from the desperate and the starving? Maybe. But I know that it is his belief, money, and drive that has filled the world's empty stomachs. Desperation can only be experienced by the living, and we have given them back their lives. Us, our work. Farrow's resources, science's triumph. Together we have changed the world. That's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. This console's still operational. Another log. Activate hollow projector. We're done in every way. The wreaths work. And Cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But it's too late. The latest projections from U.S. Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Not even close. deserve this I wonder what they were gonna do like maybe make these re flowery sure. things like this cover the fa the factories or something before evacuation so all their efforts were in vain they ran out of time at least we have the software module they created it should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. And this door just lit up. Oh, what is this? Uh, from Tala Aquino, personal log. From Marjane's letter, it is with regret I resign. I share that regret, Marjane. You served as an excellent deputy, but no single person is above the team or the project. I came to create life, not to destroy it. After all we've achieved together, I did not expect such a lack of vision. Yes, our research has shifted direction, but biomass conversion is no different than burning wood in a stove or distilling ethanol from molasses. It is a method to release solar energy that was captured organically. Yes, there are military applications for this technology, but that does not mean there is a logical moral argument against biomass conversion itself. To say so is emotional petulance, plain and simple. 
The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. For Nefisi to end her letter with a quotation made it a direct attack. Childish, disappointing, personal. Any sadness I might have had about her departure left me in that moment. I wish her luck with whatever position she is able to find, but the greenhouse will continue on all the stronger now that it is free from such narrow thinking. I'll sum up with another quote, one better suited to the circumstances. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! Hope she can climb. We can use the line to get down. Uh, right. Easy. You, you could, you could, you're, you could do the climbing, but you're not okay with the sliding. <laughs> Made it. Special gear. Vine cutter. Installed on the spear, this code module can be used to dissolve metal flowers vines. Nice. Major step forward in the story. Got a new tool. Now what? Now we get to that data core. As I was... Just doing this to get rid of that marker. I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. All right, Let's looking hope forward this to this. Works. Use a melee attack on the flower. The flower's blooming. Let's see if the software works. So... Vines. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. So three hits, then an interact. The data core looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. Demeter? It's time to go home. To Gaia. We see it alive. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring to meter the kernel she put to in original code. Had yellow in it. Which means that was the kernel with the spare Gaia that uh, was given to us by um Beta? What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But it kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about what... Ooh. Alba! Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come. Look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, L look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you, an ancestor reborn. Oh no. She, oh my God, they know who Elizabeth is and worship her? Divina, we should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, Anna Angels with the Prime sub. Anna, thank you so much. Really appreciate the support for the channel. 
Alaria says, just come in before going to bed because I glanced at the title. Joko is the best story. Have a good night. <laughs> Joko was a fantastic story. However, I played that one a few years ago. Uh, what I meant by the title is this is one of the best stories I have played in a couple years. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar hey, look, with the, the legacy. Hey, tree of birds. How are you today? As they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. I love that she's being practical. Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around San the Francisco. archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Sounds like a fun society. Obtained Gaia Kernel. I says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might... I want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. I'll figure out how to get out of this building first. Okay. Uh, there. So for a very long time now, the story was to find uh, Demeter and Poseidon and... Who was the other one? One other one. Uh, and we found them all. We, we found all, all three of those. Uh, Ether. Yes, Ether was the sky. That's right. Ether was the sky. Poseidon was the water. Demeter was the fields. Uh, we found those three. And we're bringing the last one home, which should then jump to uh, the next step of the main quest, the MSQ. I like it when the character drops a bit of surprise like that on you. Yeah, because that means that at some... So what, that means that the... Uh, was it Alva? She knew who Elizabeth Sobek was. And at some point during her talk with me, she realized that we looked exactly like her, but she didn't bring it up until just then. And although she was very different from us, she realized at some point, like, it was more practical to, you know, disobey her, uh, her people's way of life there. And I like that. You said the name for the override? True. That probably, like... But the thing is, saying the name for the override didn't introduce Alva to Elizabeth Sobek and make her realize that we look like Elizabeth Sobek. It probably, uh, you know, maybe that, like, just reminded her all of a sudden. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. So, unless there's a twist, the plan after this is to find Hephaestus. With the acquisition of Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter, 
My heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. Beta gonna walk in? Yeah. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that, Gemini? An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual ground. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, and we will get attacked and have to defend it. Rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not going to work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, Ooh. would those conceal the one at Gemini? Ooh. Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. Ooh, I like that. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work. I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it. Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher... Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended. Holy crap. Nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. Silas. That might be all I need. This, I, I was going to say Silas Alva, would know. the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Yo, Varl been doing a great job of being Beta's uh, therapist. All of us said the Quen have a trying to help her like adapt to everything. To, get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. Chat, we're going to San Fran. Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Oh, you know what though? Understood. Ow! That is focused things trying to kill me. Uh, now I'm pretty sure that's the exit Not on purpose. near the servers. Servers are down here, I think. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Eh? What? This just goes back up here. All right, that's not what we wanted. Muck the blind strikes again. Look, I don't know every door in here. I don't know which door was the new door and which door was the old door. Sorry, this one says pry. This has to be the new one. Looks like some kind of maintenance space.
I really don't like the idea of putting Gaia in like a pocket thing and just taking her off, you know, out and about. Because then if we just get jumped, she could get taken. I really don't like that. Make a copy. That did it. Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. Blake looks nice with some green in it. And dirt. Don't forget all that dirt we had to bring in. If we're going to go around trying to protect life, we should have more of More mounts? I think it looks nice. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Talk to Zoe. Aloy, I hear you're going further west past the Tanakh clan lands. We're going to San Fran. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the old ones built towers there that touch the sky. So they could live far away from the earth that bore them. <laughs> we were so bored of As the earth. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Is the reboot code for the land gods ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, we know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to plain song, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. Where's Fa Ray and me, though? In My people made on. shrines near where each land god cauldron. faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. <laughs> you thought you were being clever, Banana, but we know. People starve, so. I promise. Oh, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Hephaestus. What are these that, land gods? I'm gonna need everyone's help. Hang on. We'll be ready. So, uh, Bird, her people, um, they were nomadic, and they basically worshipped the robots that were in charge of agriculture. Like, these, these robots would basically, everywhere in their path, food would grow, right? Like, they were perfectly uh, fertilizing the soil and planting perfect seeds for that soil, and food was plentiful behind these robots wherever Maybe. they traveled. And over time, uh, their people like just came to treat the, they, they thought of them like, like gods. They called them the land gods. They were, they're just big robots. However, um, now the land is like poison, and these robots are still doing the same thing, and they're just spreading the poison around. And they need new programming uh, because, her pe one, her people are starving because they don't know any way to feed themselves other than follow these robots. And, two, uh, they're just making the Earth die go? faster with what they're doing. So we are, as a short-term solution while we work on the main quest line, we're trying to fix this issue with their land gods, which, again, are just big robots. Uh, I think this is the exit. I believe it was the east exit was right by a campfire. Yes. Okay. Uh, wow, they are actually pretty close. Okay. Go to the shrine at the lake. Uh, unknown campfire. All right, let's go there then. Aloy. Oh my God. I hear you're heading to the coast. Don't do if that. You need to resupply en route. I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. I mean, next time, ask permission before you talk in my ear? Good lord. 
It's like, Kotalo needs to, uh, at least be signed up for my Patreon if he's gonna be jump scared me like that. Like, I don't, I don't think it's very fair to me that he just gets to do that. This will be in my stash when I need it. Title got me interested. I might give this a go tonight. Hey, bro, man. Yeah, dude. The uh, if you're gonna play this, uh, I recommend playing the first Horizon game before this one because they're like two. It's like book one and book two of a series. Um, the second one picks up right after the first one, but the story has been so so good, and in my opinion, one of the best stories in a game I have played in maybe a year or two. Like, I can think of some other really good stories we've played in the past, such as, um, Soma. That one, that one was incredible. Uh, but in the last, like, year or two, this one really stands out to me. There. One of the Land God Shrines. Is this the one that went into so the lake? So said this one sank in a nearby lake. All right, do we still have our underwater breather at this point in the story? Yes. Uh, it looks like, okay. Is there a croc? I'm sorry. Data to override that machine might be in another cauldron. Snap maw. better stay away from that snap maw. No, we're not staying away from that. We are going to... Shoot. I was hoping that that arrow would go through the... I think the land god is underneath that rubble. Alright, well. We can't fight underwater in this game. How did you get under a school bus? Should help you get back on track. That should do it. Is that it? Okay, I guess that one's done. It said they were on the network, so maybe that one's not going to get free and walk around again. Maybe it just needed to be uh, have the reboot code because they're on Wi-Fi together. <sighs> One down. Okay. Two to go. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. Oh, I don't have a mount. That's right, a bit, it died. But I, I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate So in the fall. Sorry, breaking up. I don't care. Harvest, with wine made from elderflowers. When I was twelve, I got tipsy on it and kissed a boy in the sage garden. How'd that go? Ew, kisses! He was so surprised he nearly fell into the mulch. It would be good to see so again. Plowing the fields in the afternoon sun. All right then. I'll head to Plain Song and deliver the code to She's the She's like, ah, oh, drowned Triceratops. Reminds me of my first love. Ah. I see a new possible mount. It's gonna be you and me. Uh, why are you picking a fight? Yo, it's fine. He immediately started attacking his friends. I just needed a mount. Uh, 
These watch shifts are too long. You should be able to set them to defensive. Uh, okay. I don't know if I have that. <laughs> I, I remember seeing that on the talent tree. I don't know if I have that. Two dead Utaru and the Lamb God Shrine. So said this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. I better be careful. There's the land god. But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. A flying healing boosh. Repair the data I have on plow horns before I can override them. I just berserked that one. And it's dead. <laughs> berserked that one. This override's gonna run out soon. I need it to do something. What, me? Oh, that override did a whole lot of nothing. There we go. Okay. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Whoa! Get the vodka! Look, Mom, I'm a harbinger. I'm just throwing dots at things and drinking. That's how I fight. That's all the machines. Only use a couple of yo-yos to kill that big boy. God. Feels good. What all do we knock off of him? That's his shoulder gun. Glow blast. stuff here not related to what I killed I mean I'll take it I feel like I just got the toy out of a happy meal right now With all these goodies You know what I would like, love to see Aloy do? That scene from Jurassic Park where she like puts herself against it and it was like, oh, <laughs> as it's breathing up and down. Uh oh. Wait, what? 
What was that? What was that? What was that? Stormbird. Oh, mother! Why? Why Stormbird now? Do I have to fight the Stormbird? It hasn't seen me yet. Something tells me it wants me to fight the Stormbird. I know that part in its belly is the gun. Vodka! Vodka, please! Wait, she didn't, she didn't drink. You didn't drink! Do it again! Thank you, damage reduction. Otherwise, I would have died there. All right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've destroyed its gun. I love when the buzzsaw thing sticks into him and just does a ton of hits. Covered it in acid. Me down with it, just win. <laughs> that was a lot of hits. Oh my god, I found it! the catch. Let's make a few more yo-yos. More Beyblades. Two hundred and ten, and then a bunch of other numbers, too. I saw one forty one there. It's down. Dead? Yeah, hey. it's dead. Got Let's it. We got it. Let's get this code installed on that land god. Tear precision arrows. Yeah, I used precision arrows to destroy its core thing. And then just for raw, like, damage done with the least amount of money spent, I'm using the, the Beyblades. The acid Beyblades. Wing thrusters. I should install this code on that land god. Working on it, I gotta get, I gotta get the loot first. We worked so hard for that. We use the vodka and everything. You can't just use the vodka and then just leave the loot, are you crazy? But yeah, I use the uh, precision tear arrows for when there is a part I need to take out early and then Acid yo-yo is just really good for just, if I'm just like aim at center of mass and do damage. Let's try this again. Nice and easy. Okay. Another land god dealt with. Don't know if he's hey, gonna get so? up, but there he is. 
Aloy, how goes it? I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. <laughs> the best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Fight me! Okay. Wait, I'll right. call you when I'm done with the last one. Uh, Thank there's you, another Aloy. arrow type called Terror Precision Arrow. Isn't that, uh, yeah, this right here. Yeah, I can, I have those two. I didn't use them during that fight, but yeah, I know what those are. Uh, let's see. Another oh, outpost full of rebels. Time to find whoever's in charge and take them out. That damned outlander. A ballista. Might be useful if I run into trouble. I have never seen her just snap a guy's neck before. That's it. Move along. That not hit. Let's check this one for tax. You'll pay for that. All of that started when I was trying to loot that dude and accidentally got on the ballista, and I was like, well, I guess we're here. They've got machines in here. I mean, we already killed I could override right them and set them free. Stir up some trouble. Deathbringer gun. Oh, I love how you can still see the ballista bolt stuck in that thing. It's a nice touch. Found anything? You think we're close? It's up to luck at this point. Spotted her! Call everyone to arms! I can keep going. Uh, Area should be safe now. Uh, she said it should be safe. Why can I not use the fire? <clears throat> oh, there we go. I guess it just took a few seconds. What difficulty are you playing on? Uh, standard. that oh it's a cell phone tower an image of the old world huh kind of looks like plain song and some kind of metal structure it's like satellite dishes in the middle which look kind of like that right there a screenshot might trade for something good Huh. 
windmills to the left and right of that picture. Further back. That HM lookout seems promising. I could try to line up the image from there. What ancient lookout? Should be able to override that canister burrower now. I think I'm almost in the right spot. God, stop. I'm not telling her to climb over to the right. She just keeps doing that. Looks like I'm higher up than where the image was taken. Too low to light up the image? It's always something with you, Aloy. <laughs> this was the almost spot. Pretty sure I'm close. They caught on. This is how it took me a while to figure out. Yeah, we're trying to figure it out. The main thing is that when you hold up the picture, it shows a um, windmill thing to your left and right. And there's multiple windmills down there. And I'm trying to figure out exactly which ones it needs. Hold on, what is this? Indian Ocean. Below the skids of our vert uh, stretches nothing but open, fe featureless water. This area of the sea was once home to 200 islands. Rich with sea life, they were a playground of the famous and wealthy. Seconds after we drop a submersible drone, holographic underwater images fill the vert's main cabin. From the drone's perspective, we see all that has been lost to the waves. Drowned concrete resorts bordering by wi uh, white bleached structures. The remnants of the once colorful, vibrant living reefs that brought tourists to the Maldives. 
Here and there we can see life still clinging on, but with rising seas, acidity increases and the loss of the currents that once brought nutrition to these mid-ocean rocks. This haven of life has dwindled to a shadow of what it once was. Are these lost treasures of the Pacific gone forever? Isha Laghari of the Trans-Indian Aquatic Development Center doesn't think so. As she sees it, the first step in bringing life back to the reefs is to envision what they once were, hence the images I see before me now, near barren underwater rocks suddenly bursting with a rainbow of holographic plants and animals. As a brilliant orange clownfish swims past my nose, she describes her project as both a window into the past and a guide to the future. She hopes that with time, effort, and new advances in cloning and transplanting, perhaps one day both here and in oceans around the world, life can... Data ended. This is close. Can we jump on this? This is really close. Yeah, see, the thing is, that's a windmill, that's a windmill, and that's the remains of a windmill. So it's also possible that that one is one of the ones involved. I think I'm getting close. Muckluck dance in muckluck bobble muckluck bogwoo. Hey, Bob Soji, welcome back and thank you. Uh, let's see. Appreciate that support. Welcome. What? Really? I've come to this spot like three times. Okay, I guess it, you just had to be in it just right. Alright, so yeah, it's like a satellite dish field. Okay. I don't know that that really does anything for me, but okay. We got it. gives XP. I didn't notice it, but I'll take it. Going down. Is this Ascalon? Uh, yes. Any moment now, we're gonna come across the, uh, blue Twitter checkmark ghosts. Anytime.
Why are you running? That machine could swoop down on me if I'm not careful. Blue Twitter chat mark goes, yeah, it was a reference to something we watched yesterday. That's not working. Finish her from range. It's hissing. It's hissing. Stop shooting at me then. Now! I done! I think she's gone. Where are these arrows still coming from? There. <sighs> that is who they're still coming from. I don't even know who they were fighting. It felt like every single person here was trying to kill me, so it's not like there were some friends and some foes, unless the friends died right when I arrived, which is possible. And, you know, I was taking time trying to figure out how to properly announce myself. And then they're like, ooh, violence. Showman buddies down in Vegas, yeah, where you picked up the site. It really spruced up the place. Uh, I guess they're calling it Hidden Ember now. But I think they could use your help with a few things, too. Thanks, Erend. I'll try to pay them a visit when I can. Uh, last time I went down there, they put me on a hot air balloon, which almost killed me. So, Erend, how about you? You help them. How to properly announce yourself. Scream dynamic entry. <laughs> I understand that reference. Uh, is this one down in the ravine? Yes. I'm guarding you right here, guys, and you're going to go. I am maximum safe. This must be the shrine for the land of Michelle. As we pass those down. Let's take a look. Gotta climb up to that land, God. It looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. But where there's vines, there's a metal flower. I just have to find it. I see it. 
Mark, do you what? plan on playing The Last of Us Part 1 maybe this Halloween? I actually bought it on Steam. I can make use of this. And I downloaded it and installed it. And I tried to run it because a lot of you guys have recommended it to me. And it was using up 100% of like my CPU and GPU on the main menu. And I was like, well, that's awful. So I tried like launching the game to see if it would be normal after you get past the main menu. Maybe it was just a weird glitch. And it did not fix it. It was like the thing could have... And I wasn't even streaming then. It was like literally utilizing my whole computer just to sit on the main menu of that game. So I like looked it up and some other people had the problem too. Uh, you know, it had like negative reviews because a lot of people were saying that the, uh, the PC version of it was just absolutely awful. And I, I couldn't get it to work. And I ended up refunding it on Steam. But yeah, I've heard good things and I'm still spoiler free on it. I don't know anything about it, but I couldn't make the thing function. You paid for the whole computer, so you use the whole computer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Should be able to access that cave now. Oh wait, that's there. The flower. That was the wrong if flower. I can deactivate it. The land god will be free from the vines. But I'll have to find a way up there. Never been in an area that had two of these things. Redwing carcass. It must have dropped the flowers and then crashed. Looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. But... <laughs> now I just need to get rid of these vines. You're spoiler free for the last of us? Down. Yeah. All I know is there's a grown guy and he's yeah, taking better. care of like a young girl and there's like zombies and stuff. Time to get this stuff. code installed. <laughs> this will help you get better. That's the last land god. Zo, can you hear me? I can hear you. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. When you can, meet me at Plainsong and we'll send out the reboot signal. I've delivered the code to all the land gods, save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her. Just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. Where's my mighty seed? 80 meters that way. Get over here. I'm gonna get to my destination before that thing gets here. An old world ruin. Might be the one that Utaru and Plainsong told me about. Let's see if there's anything useful inside. Okay. Plainsong. Duh, duh. Let's see this. Is there an option to turn off the narrative hints? Not that we could find. We did look. Um, I the think the story in this game is amazing. Good. The combat is fantastic. Her constantly telling you the answer to puzzles is annoying. That is my main that. con for the game. Even the PC controls are pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. Like, hell of a lot better than, you know, <coughs> what is she doing any FromSoft to game is on PC with mouse and keyboard. Aloy, Should we stop you made her? It. All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal.
they're singing. The singing? What does this mean? A new beginning. Gaia told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. <laughs> it's just making modem noises. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. So, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. That guy do wants a dentist. No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later, and I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. She named them after notes. Her people did, like a long time ago. Uh, okay. <coughs> yeah, see, all this oh, red is basically poison. This is the blight. It's spreading its sickness. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of quests in here all of a sudden. Okay, hold on. What's going on here? I've got news, Outlander. Yeah, I'm trying to interact with you. Let's go. All right, what do you got? I hear Tanakh rebels have taken over the border gates west of here. Best stay clear of them if you're heading that way. Thanks for the heads up. Looking at that thing on her head, I guess that's supposed to be oh, just like a shade. And the Utaru have enough to deal with. Maybe they could use a little help. Alright, restock everything. Let's see. You sell anything good? Uh, she does have some interest in Frost arrows! Frost arrows, acid arrows, tear... Electric arrows. First time I've seen that. Shearing warrior bow. Forge fire tripcaster. Not really using my tripcaster much anymore. Slicing shredder gauntlet. Uh, so it's a new Beyblade thing. This one does tear damage. Mm, I'm not sure if there's anything I need the there, Let's but okay. Trade. Let's check the workbench. Uh, what components does this want to upgrade? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. I don't know how often I'm going to use this, but... Okay, and then the trip caster is max level, so it has a coil slot now. Uh, where is it? There it is. Shock trip caster. Plus shock. Perfect. What have you been up to? Right, what's, this? what's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. I also fixed your land guard. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. <laughs> what is it? You can handle My one wife, more Kali. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seat pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. Uh, seed pouch? Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utaro keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them. 
so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in Plainsong. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. It's their dog tag? The promontory yeah. is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. They killed her. They did it, chat. Uh, wait. It says there's another quest here. Oh, it's above me. She helped fight the machines that broke through the cordon. Living and dying. What are we gonna do? And turning back again. Let them rot. Dre's eyes. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. Yul, please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. <laughs> I apologize for Yul. She used Said to be every friendlier, introvert but ever. grief robs many of their kindness. Grief? You and Zoe brought the land gods back to us, but troubles from our time of want remain. As our crops failed, we sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest to the north to bring back meat. A machine slaughtered the last party we sent out. A Clostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it more deadly than any we've seen before. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. If I've it got a beyond the forest, I'm not to use no one will be safe. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. Chat, real I question. Be careful. Do seeds go bad? Like, if you have a Before pouch of seeds growth, for like 30 years, years, can you still can plant it and stuff will still grow from them? For she wanted nothing that is an honest than question. Now you walk uh, of talk to the survivor. Down here. Short answer, kinda. Depends on the seeds and the environment. Some can the keep party. for decades. Really? Okay. Hey, I'm learning something new today. Then? Oh, this guy's messed up. I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it... Had a strange purple glow. Thanks. The blood of Unicron. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao. My oldest friend. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I could not find it. Depends on the seed. A crown vetch seed can be viable for 10,000 years. <laughs> wow. 10k. Alright. Crown vetch over here trying to set new records. <laughs> With everything that's happened, do you really think. A word for somebody who owes you a favor? Aloy? Um. Aloy, I wanted to thank you again for saving my life out there. And for healing the land gods, as I hear it. I promise my rations will help keep your strength up in the wilds. <laughs> Vittles. I actually, hope you know there'll always be a warm meal waiting for you I actually don't like messing with the food buffs in this game because I feel like you, they don't last long enough. 
Like, you get them, and then, like, by the time I get to my first fight, they wear off. So I don't really bother with them much. Please! The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know Dude, what else to do. Dude, does your chorus do anything? I swear to God. Telling me what's wrong. Everyone's complaining the chorus doesn't do anything. To the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope? That you'd stand with us in this fight? If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. The chorus is just the DMV. I mean, I, I think they're just local government. Meaning they don't do anything. And enjoy their positions of power. Driving in. So here's something I thought on I heard you Some practicing the song. <laughs> Alright, last quest in this area. Wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh the loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find him. Damn fool. Who is this Jax exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Bit younger than me, can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with. When there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. Plot twist, Jax is imaginary. Okay, alright, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see, where should we start? I guess go to the old growth? Let's see. May the land bloom in your steps, Where is the exit? I was not sure if that bridge was wide enough for this machine, but I'm glad it is. This must be the old growth. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches. Is that? Oh no. Alright, quick save. I thought that was green shine for a second, but it was something green and something shiny, but it wasn't green shine. Oh, that was odd. It's like two treasure chests perfectly stacked on top of each other. wonder if that was a bug that the game did that. should reduce how many pings we're getting on the map. There's something down there. It's just campfire. What is that? Oh, it is green shine. It's behind the thing. I'm in luck. Must be one of the hunters. Gotta take out these machines before I can grab the seed pouch.
crap. It saw me. Okay, now to collect the hunter's seed pouch. We can find it. Got the pouch, but where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacked them. I better check for tracks with my focus. There, claw strider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Any hope of them still being alive, or did it kill them all days ago or something? Another hunter. Not this guy. Claw Rider must have caught up to them. Okay, got the seed pouch. Better pick up the Claw Rider's tracks and keep going. Got the trail again. So that's two dead. The third hunter. I should collect their seed pouch. Wait, what? Where? Oh, there. He died where the claw strider caught him. At least I can return his seed pouch. All right, so three dead. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan for tracks. Three hunters. There should be one more. Claw Rider probably chased after him. There's some kind of residue here. It looks like the Claw Strider continued up the cliff. Hunter gave it quite the chase. Wasn't trying to go up this way, she just kind of meandered up this way. Ground's covered in some kind of residue. Boom Sledge, welcome back, buddy. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate you choosing to use that here. Thank you so much. Tires tracks end here, and no sign of the last hunter either. But I bet I know why those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. Can't avoid that. That was a berserk arrow. I'm hoping that they'll hit each other. The two birds. Working.
Okay, that's two. There's one more bird thing here somewhere, unless they got it when they were enraged, but I don't think they did. to get it in the eye on the, the first shot but I wasn't able to. Crevice in the cliff. I should check it out. Got a feeling that last hunter was pretty resourceful. Lots of good scrap here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, crevice in the cliff. There? Uh, predicting the guy is still alive, but when we get, come back out with him, the missing uh, hunter killer thing is going to show up. They're gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the claw strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. Called it. I can slow it down for you. Stay back. And don't fire until I do. Watch for its claws. The killer is more powerful than a normal machine. Apex Claw Strider. Weak against electric, but stronger as acid. Okay. I'm going to try to knock its tail off on the first shot if possible. I've got your back. Got it. Ah, oh, my ears. I need those for things. No swimming, no. Wire can't hold on to that. Dang it. I was not trying to climb this. She ought to, what in the heck? I was not trying to do any of that. This stupid pool of water. Valve 
that. It's done. We did it. <laughs> oh, I think he got the last hit. He stole my kill. Okay, yes, sir. Where's the tail that I knocked off? There it is. Well, that was some fight. It's Lau, right? Ben thinks he left you for dead. He made it back. I was worried about him. He said you saved him by getting the Claw Strider to chase you. <laughs> and he saved me by sending you after me, so we're even. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Gills dealer. Slowing that machine down helped. And here. Take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this. Not for a while. Now, what type of ammo was that? I didn't recognize the debuff that that thing applied. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouches to share. Adhesive. Hit fast-moving enemies with adhesive to build up the slowed state. When in this state, enemy movement is slowed, making them easier to target and track. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um, let's go there. This will break my fall. I'd like to turn this quest in and then go find out what happened to the lady who rebooted all the robots. Find out what happened with that. It's quite a useless one. Yeah, I. If it just slows them and doesn't like also do like a dot or something, I don't see myself using that as one of my limited weapon slots. Freeze does the same but better. Freeze also does damage over time. Uh, no room on me. I can send it to my stash. Freeze nobody increases your damage. Um, you know, I actually thought that too, but very recently I, you know, hit something with okay, maybe the freeze doesn't do a dot, but when you shoot something with this, it leaves a cloud. And it does persistent damage. And it keeps reapplying freeze over and over and over. Do you see the buildup at the top left corner? So it effectively is a damage over time in an area, even if it's not a damage over time in the strictest sense of like uh, a debuff. Uh, okay, let's uh, here. Hmm. The frost blastling leaves a damaging field. Freeze just makes all your attacks critical hits. Yeah. It also slows them down. So, are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utaru would still be starving, under siege by machines. I'm just glad it worked out. Did you manage to find that strike yes. you were looking for? Yes. First plain song. Next, the world. Those robots worked fast. There's Shale. Over here. I should give her the seed pouches I recovered from the old growth. Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Here, the seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the grove. It's oh, been an honor. They're Aloy. roommates. May the land be kind to you. The grove? Are we in the grove? What is the grove? I'm not sure where they are. Later then. Mm -hmm.
Ah, no, let go. Let's trade. Ugh. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Where's home base? Is that home base? That's home base. All right, let's go talk to what's her name, uh, Zoe, about her meeting with the chorus. I want to see how that went. I want to hear what she has to say about that. Sometimes I think those loading screens are taking forever, and then I realize it's waiting on me to press a button. How can everything taste Aloy, like maybe chicken? Speak? You're back. Good. Before we talk, I wanted to give you this. For helping me heal the land gods. Plainsong is in your debt. Thank you, Zoe. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And yours? How to go with the chorus after we fix the land gods? They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. <laughs> I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. I found it highly enjoyable proving my go. entire government wrong. Stay safe. I like loading screens of tooltips that prompt you to continue rather than just yank you out of reading. Same. No, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just saying that like sometimes I'm sitting here waiting and I'm like, oh shoot, I need to click a key. Uh, okay. Wait, there's a new quest here? Hold on, what is this? Oh, it's a co... wasn't it Katalo? Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping that Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but... We thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but... I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. Oh, it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. Personal request. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient a research lab. We're gonna get the guy across that guard. I'm not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. That sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. All right. I should get going. I've got a long way Winter to Soldier, head. yeah. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. Oh, I definitely want to see what kind of arm he ends up getting. Is it just going Tell to be a metal arm, or is it going to have, like, turned on these full metal alchemist blade on the side, or what? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's step outside. Where's the eastern tunnel? Uh, 
Did you know there used to be a rainforest? That's it. <laughs> Mega Man arm. <laughs> It's got like a can opener on the end of it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I quest wants a new arm. Show on map. Oh, that is up there a bit. Okay. All right. Fast travel. Let's go there. How do you lose the arm? Uh, the ambush by the embassy. I didn't see exactly how he removed it. I don't know if the game showed it. But basically everyone else there died except him. He only lost an arm. Shows how bad the situation was. It did show it? Did it? Okay. Then I just don't recall that part. In in that moment, there was a lot of people there that I hadn't been introduced to yet, so he was just like, at that time, Another he was drone. just a character. Could grab its data, if I can find a way to get to it. Ah. I'll make an interesting color for my armor. Raising There's some green shine there. Grab that. I've actually never spent this stuff, but I know it's supposedly uncommon, so I should get it when I see it. It's uh, some merchants will take it and trade for other things. Like you called him a unit because he was holding back a machine with his bare hands, and eventually got it cut off by that machine. Ah, yes. You're right. That do that does jog my memory. Don't the Zeniths have Mega Man arm cannons? Why don't we loot that one from that dead Zenith? Uh, they actually commented on that. When uh, she when she walked up to her, she was like, it looked like her weapon vanished after she died. Like she transported it back to where she got it from or something. Go to the Osram salvage camp. I don't want to do that right now. I want to find a Mega Man arm. I'm tired to knock the village flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. All right, let's get the. One made it out. Best fire. check around the shore. I want to get the campfire just for future fast travel. Okay, should be good. Uh, look safe. It's like red hot. Like a thruster or a tank or something? This whole area is burned around it. What did that? Should be concerned. Funny, when you were going to meet him, you wondered if he was the guy who lost his arm because they said he was named to the embassy. It's frankly a testament to how well they moved past that and developed the story. I think it's a testament to how bad my memory can be. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go with the thing you said. Call Kotalo. Hey, Kotalo? 
I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy. I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith Lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. More characters wearing a focus the lab's on this one? Up this way. Yo, she's been giving them out like candy to anyone who joins her. Oh, dude, he has to climb this with one arm. He just looked up and he was just like, okay. You okay? I got this. Yo, what a, what a guy. Jeez. We're scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Or we can sneak past them. Your choice. That was an apex no, whatever it was. Kill hunters. Apex Shellwalker. We definitely want to rip its shell off. It's full of treasure. Battle it is. We can't finish this if you die. I kind of hate how using the special ability is F spacebar. This is dumb. It's very awkward sometimes to use. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. I'm giving you a chance to not kill those enemies, Mike. I can't hear you over the sound of killing. <laughs> I mean, I one shot killed two of them. Seems silly to not do the that. The anime did this? Hard to believe, but yeah. I do not think I'd be coming back Enemies here. up ahead. Next, 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 next. Where is it? There we go.
careful! It's dangerous even with missing parts! That's the way! Are you gonna do anything? I mean, I, I, I guess I got this. You just, you just chill. End them! We I like how you swooped on. in to try to steal the, the kill. The room we found Beta in is up ahead. Lead the way. All of these are like apex whatever they were. Uh, is it down here? No, this is a dead end. We're here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database Guy was talking about. Varl mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. There's barely room to breathe. Last time we didn't get to go through this door. Only the NPCs went through here. I think I found what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Let's teach them respect! <laughs> His first response is like, Let's muck and go! With honor! That's a trap. And they just shot the acid trap. It's gone. God dang it. Okay. Hit that it one there good. again! Metal on metal! Oh. Uh. oh my god. Oh, that helps. Dude. Can you get a second. Can I get some stability stacks or something so I can play the game? You're not alone. Not yet. No, but I am two thirds of our arms. That acid ought to hurt it. Hit it up under.
I was trying to glide, but it's the same button as this. It's not what I wanted to do. It's burning itself away! Alright, that's one down. down. Ugh. We should continue. We should continue? Dude, we're still fighting one. Infinite vodka. Her most powerful ability. Take this. Oh. I don't, I don't mind this being a single player game like with no pet classes or anything like that. But when the NPCs act like they're helping and they're not at all, that, that's kind of bugging me. Ah, that mess. Single attack just sends you flying. I'm still a marshal and will die a marshal. I don't know what I hit, but I hit hard. The Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. Second floor. I'm just following the quest marker right now. Dude's slacking like he only has one arm or something. I mean, that's fine, but he was talking some mad script. We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. What is behind this? A vent. Might be a way out of this room. You can try out other Valor Surges by clicking that. Yeah, I know. I've tried a bunch of Valor Surges, though. Was she talking about the previous vent that we went through? Oh, I see it on the ceiling. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like I have to go left. Components have to be here somewhere. But we haven't even seen the recipe. We don't even know what we're looking for. But we'll just take everything. Please tell me the components are in there. Zenith components. I should go back and give these to Katalo. Just ignite this. Okay, so considering we don't even know, have the schematics to build prosthetic arms yet, but we know that these are the components. These must be like the stem cells of technology. I don't know what we're building, but these can build it. You found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again. <laughs> Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the Ten. His voice sounds familiar. Someone earlier said it was uh, Rama. Uh, I haven't confirmed that, but someone did say that. I don't remember the way out of here. Oh, we got a marker now. That'll work. And if it is Rama, that guy's in many, many games. I just heard my UPS click under the table. Pictures of Spider-Man! No, it was not taking pictures of Spider-Man. I think it uh, just saved me from a power surge. It is uh, raining outside. Rama from Rama from Guild Wars 2. Detective Rama. Detective Big Hat from End of Dragons. Let's go see if he has the uh, the new arm by the time we get back. Gotta see it, gotta see it. How's it going with the arm? It is nearly complete, but I'm still adjusting the fittings. Soon, I must test it. Looking forward to it. I gotta head out. Stay alert out there. Hmm. Man, I was hoping that we would see it uh, tonight. Wait for Katalo to finish building the arm. Okay, so we gotta like do some other quests and then come back for this, I guess. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at our skills. We haven't done that since the beginning of this session. Survivor has been really good to us tonight. Is there any other survivor stuff that'll help? Now, what is this? Overshield? Activate a special arm guard based on ancient technology and a rechargeable damage-absorbing energy shield. 
Uh, shield also recharges when depleted if Valor is still available. Huh. Uh, burst dodge. Lava burst of bombs in front of you while you dodge backwards. Shredder mine. Launch a shredder that ricochets off its point of contact before hovering in place, dealing shock damage targets within range for a limited time. Uses up to two shredders of your currently selected type and depletes a medium amount of weapon stamina. That looks kind of neat. Aim with right click, fire with middle mouse button. Hang on. I guess that's it right there. That's literally my first time using that type of skill. Where you do like right click middle mouse button. I have never used that before. Like there's, I know there's other skills that use that. I just haven't bothered with them. Uh, Shredder Gauntlet. Now wait, if you've got multiple skills that are right click middle mouse button, how do you choose which one it's going to do? Uh, okay, what is this? Launch a special shredder that does extra damage to a target. Shredder does not return after impact. So this is a big boom. I definitely do not want that. Uh, gain valor when hit by enemies. Gather more resources from plants. Sure, why not? Sticky bomb. Fire a bomb your currently selected type that sticks to its target and explodes after a delay. Attaching multiple bombs simultaneously detonates them, does extra damage. Kether, carry more berries in your pouch? Yes, please. Absolutely. Uh, do more damage when you're low health. Resist more damage when you're super low health. That would be good. What is this thing? Defy death. Consume a special potion to do more damage and gain a second chance while reducing your max health to critical levels. When the Valor Surge ends, you regain health up to critical health threshold. Um, you pick the weapon technique you want from the weapon wheel. How? Oh, is that it right there? Okay, so I only have one option there right now. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool. Alright. I have to try that out on something next time. Alright. So, cool. We made a lot of progress tonight. I'm going to save it there. And let's see. What's the next step of the main mission? Uh, find and recover a mega clearance from Thebes, Ted Pharaoh's home, which is there. Um, we've got a fire there. So, it's not too long run. Probably a few minutes run from there. All right, well, with that, we're going to save it here, chat, and definitely pick it up from here next time. All right, cool. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for a wonderful evening stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, a couple plugs on the way out. If you happen to be new to my channel, my name is Muckluck. I stream every single evening and every weekday morning. I'll be back tomorrow morning continu continuing our playthrough of Evil Genius 2, trying to do a playthrough of the game on the hardest difficulty, the highest setting, and we're making good progress so far, and I'll be back tomorrow night probably with another variety game and some Horizon Forbidden West mixed in as well. Uh, hit the follow button if you're here on Twitch for the first time. Like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. It really does help us out. These are links to my YouTube channels. I have two. First one has the edited content. The second one has got a playlist for every game I do on streams. So there's over 10,000 videos there. So if you like to binge watch and be like, oh, I want to see him play Horizon from the beginning, that second channel is perfect for you. And lastly, a special thank you to the patrons who keep this channel alive. That's a link to them. And if you're interested in becoming one of those, there is a link in the chat. You guys have a fantastic evening. Sleep well, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Say it backwards. Mmm, edge the need only you'll but see to take, please. Weak every giveaways, beakers, the touch don't speakers, the up crank way the on is entertainment. Stay the enjoy. You hope we lab the two viewer, dear you welcome, third the snuffles, Van Chauncey, Sir, and fourth the Esquire, Reginald Bartholomew Douglas Muckluck. 
<laughs> the words pour from his mouth, nearly tripping over themselves in their haste. My name is Zunakai. I used to be a slave here, but then I worked hard and they made me an overseer. I kept a good eye on the slaves, and if anyone slacked off, I whipped them hard. <laughs> don't, don't clip it. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh, oh, hi. Uh, you stay there. I'm going that way. Deal. You broke the deal. Oh, Chauncey, uh, Chauncey can swim. I didn't know that. He, what? How does he look so dapper while swimming? I've never seen a cat look that dapper while swimming. Like, look, his chest is out. He's just like, hmm, yeah. No. Uh, have you attempted oxygen not included? Mm-hmm. Uh, I played it on stream, and one very memorable memory is Anyone who was at the stream, I was letting them name one of my replicants after them. And I said, Joe Niels, which one do you want to be you? And one of them had like explosive bowel syndrome or something. And he donated $50 and he was drunk and he made the British guy said, I want a character, make me the poop one. I don't know if anyone on Twitch has ever spent $50 to say make a me to poop one, but that day Joe did, and I, I it burned into my mind. The flashlight that we picked up earlier was in hand now. Oh, that's us. Oh, yo, I was getting... <laughs> the cardboard, this is not going to go well. Run an update. I'm running, I'm running software updates. That it is. This is true horror, chat, because I was a tech support. I can't get away from it. Updated. It just left bread on the table. That bread's gonna dry out. The bread is gonna dry out. There's so much bread. You don't like the. Oh, there's two. Of, the baby's not eating bread. There's two of us. There's like three loaves of bread there and another four right here. What are you doing? Put some saran wrap on it. It's gonna dry out. New page. Oh my god. A freaking patron sound. Oh, yeah. Just, just like, mm, a new arrival. And then just, Ed Wolf was sure to follow. Oh, hello. Welcome, page. Sit down, you. Oh, season. Good to see you. I use numpad for my mounts. I use numpad for this and this and this and this and this. And this, 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 and other things. I'm trying to sleep here. Am I too loud? Okay. I love you. I love you too. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. <laughs> <laughs>